in one word. Sum up heavy metal for us. Noise. Ace of Spades. A number written by a man called Lemmy of Motorhead. Could we please call Lemmy of Motorhead? And now, Mr. Lemmy, with the book. I can't do it with that seat because uh, it's not got any dots on it. Right. I'm yes. Exhibit A. 1967. I couldn't see anything but like beauty, you know. I can't describe it to anyone. And then we came down off it and we went to see the nice at the speakeasy. With the first light show I'd ever seen, with Keith hurling knives into the keyboard. That was an eye opener, I don't mind telling you. You have to be careful about what's offered. You know, you can't do it all because it'll kill you, you know, simple. You have to know who you are before you start doing anything like that. And in the 60s, we did a lot of that stuff, you know, I mean, I said like double. Fire storm coming closer. They bomb to the bone. They close. You know we do it right. A mission every night. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. Plans are anathema to real life. Never had a plan. We're just like, you know, when you stay at a hotel and the lights go and you're just blundering into the furniture. That's like, that's our plan. <coughs> Trying to find the door, you know. The emergency lights out there. <laughs> that's us. Heavy metal music, you once described it as music that your mother shouldn't like. Is it really that nasty? Well, she pretends to like it, you know. They come to gigs and uh, they always leave before the gig actually starts. <laughs> Gotta get the last bus home, you know. I mean, what does she think of you being involved in it all? Oh, well, she's quite relieved to see me uh, with a job, you know. <laughs> You've been around quite a time now, if you don't mind me saying. I mean, one thinks of Hulk and things. What else am I qualified for? <laughs> <laughs> one arm, one arm banded I know. That's a sniper. <laughs> That'll do. It's a, it's, a, it's a very loud kind of music. I mean, was it done to your health? I mean, was it, was it done to your ears, for instance? Eh? Most people have to do a job they hate all their life, you know. Every day, imagine. Not me, man. I grew my hair so they fired me. I was making parts for washing machines for Hot Point. People said, why don't you get your hair cut short? It appeals to a much wider audience. So I don't want to cut it short, you know. Oh, and they went away again, you know. <laughs> All the best stuff that lasts shocks people when it shows up at first, you know. And like, look at Elvis, who's denounced as the spawn of the devil right across the United States, you know. Now he's a cross between Joan of Arc and bloody Billy Graham, you know. That's not going to happen to you, though. No, it's not, no. The hat doesn't fit through the church door, you see.
great thing about being in a band is, like I said before, running around the world, seeing places that make you go wah, and like having all the locals turn up and steal their girlfriends, you know, basically. Well, we give them back, you know, it's not like we keep them. But... Noxious, you know, and, and we, we like being obnoxious, you see. I always wanted to be obnoxious, because all the bands I like are obnoxious, you know, MC5. And we came up the same time as the punks, and I thought they were splendid, you know. And the damn dear, you know. Great fun. To the station! Music! <laughs> I was inspired by people like Buddy Holly and the Everly Brothers. Best harmonies you'll ever hear, no question. And then, of course, you got the Shadows, you know, because they were the first thing over here that really was any good. And Cliff Richard, believe it or not, he was good then. I mean, we all know he's crap now, you know. And he was good then. He was our answer to Elvis, who was mean and moody. His big sideburns and things, you know. I don't know why. I just like it. I like it. It's not so wrong. Been on the road is one of the best workouts you've ever seen in your life. You know? That's when I'm all right, is when I get home, I get in trouble. On the road, I'm fine, you know, that's where I'm supposed to live, you know.
Lenny, we're always told that heavy metal's meant to be progressing and developing. It seemed to me that they're all pretty much the same sort of subject matter, isn't it? Yeah, I agree with you. I think that uh, actually heavy metal, the great strength of heavy metal is that it doesn't progress, actually. That's a strength, is it? Yeah. Why is that a strength? Because people keep enjoying it the way it is. <laughs> You have to be an egomaniac to be up there in the first place playing anything because the stage fright at first is terrible, you know. You can fake it up to a point, but if you fake it completely, then they're going to know, you know. Excuse me, sorry. Hello. No, but I'm halfway through an interview. Where does it go back to? Where do you stop? What's the thing that first sort of got you going? A little Richard. Yeah. You know, Elvis, Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee, love Jerry Lee. Yeah. He is the killer. He was the killer. I think he's, he's the killed now. <laughs> he's the man. Yeah. Do you like Jerry? I think, could you, I bet you could sing a Jerry Lee song, couldn't you? I bet I could. Shall we make, shall we have Larry yeah. singing a Jerry Lee song? No. Shall we have Larry singing a Jerry Lee song? Yeah. You say my nerves and you rattle my brain. You say my love drives a man insane. I broke my will, but what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Got my love and you thought it was funny. You got my love and you knew the honey. You took my mind, the good is fine. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Kiss me, baby. Feels good. Hold me, baby. Well, I want to love you like a lover should. You're fine. We did a lot of fooling around, you know. I've had a good time out of rock and roll, and it's had a good time out of me. Oh, I love Jerry Lee. In C. In C, always. No, not always. Well, no, not always. Whenever, whenever it's... It was in D when we'd done it in the dressing. Was it? <laughs> do we go out like a little candle, or do we reincarnate? Do we go and live with Jesus? I don't think so. What do you think? Oh, I, I think it's all wonderful when we go and live in Snowden yeah. at the top. By the bar. I'm going to hell anyway, that's where the pool tables are, you know what I mean? You can't imagine a pool table in heaven, can you?